All right. Is anyone ready? Okay. All right, students. How was your afternoon? How was your morning with your judging? That didn't sound too good. Was it okay? Was it good? Was it great? Or was it amazing? Okay, I'm hoping for the amazing. That's what we strive for for you. Okay, so um, we are so excited to have you all here. Um, I want you all to realize that we understand what you've gone through to get here. Some of you had an easier road to get here from your region, to, to your regional fair and to here. Some of you had to compete at a school or maybe even a classroom before you did the school, then in a county, then a regional fair, and then here. So I want every single student that's here to realize what you have accomplished. It's really amazing. And you should be extremely proud of yourself. And if you look, think about all the students all across North Carolina, and you are the ones whose projects were selected to be good enough to come to the state competition. So right now, I would like all students to stand up. I'm gonna steal some of Gary's thunder. All right, all students stand up. Okay, so students, now that you just sat down, the reason that you're able to do this is because of the support of those around you. So you need to make sure you thank all those people that are responsible for getting you here, from parents, teachers, you know, friends, advisors, mentors, and again, I'm stealing Gary's thunder, and I need to be told, get back on the script. So I'll do that, but be sure and thank those that have helped you along the way. So we have our virtual fair students also joining us in streaming. Remember we had a virtual competition for judging on Wednesday that we had 54 projects that participated in that event. Um, so welcome virtually to those families and students. I would like to give a special thanks to one of our longtime partners, the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics and especially to the individual in the back, Jeff Hatley, and he is providing the service that we have for our second year to be able to stream our award ceremonies. Now, they will be posted on YouTube as individual award ceremonies later, and we will be putting those links on our website and also on stemwizard.com for you to be able to go to. So um, at our 36th North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair, we are excited that you are here. And we are thankful to be back at NC State University. We were here for two years before COVID hit, then we were virtual for two years, and we were back in person last year, and then again this year. And it's so nice to be able to see students' faces instead of on a computer screen. Although virtual students, I enjoyed seeing you as well. Okay, I'm still gonna include you, but it's nice to be back in person. So right now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Gary Kelly, who's our chairman of the North Carolina Science Fair Foundation's Board of Directors, and he has a few remarks to give. If I haven't stolen all of them from him. Okay, Gary. Thank you, Judy. Good afternoon again. Okay, okay, I think I can hear y'all. <laughs> I'm so very honored to be the chairman of the North Carolina Science Fair Foundation. Um, we are the board, the nonprofit that supports the North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair. Uh, we are also very proud to be the longtime state affiliate to both the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair for our Senior Division Grant Awards and for the second year, the Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge Grant Awards. On behalf of our board, the Science and Engineering Fair Planning Committee, and our many judges and volunteers, and our devoted regional directors. We want to con congratulate each and every one of you for being a regional winner and state finalist for your initiative to engage in science and or engineering research. Well done. Thank you. 
We also want to applaud the amazing efforts of our over 170 judges and our over 125 volunteers who were so instrumental in making today happen. Please give them a round of applause. Before we recognize our award recipients, I just want to take the time to uh, give a special shout out to some of our sponsors. Um, without them, this day could not happen as well. For our platinum sponsors, we want to give a shout out to the Burroughs Welcome Fund, the Goodnight Educational Foundation, the North Carolina Science, Mathematics, and Technology Education Center. Our gold sponsors, RTI International, DLH, Pfizer, the Broadcom Foundation, North Carolina Central University College of Health and Sciences, the Triangle University's Nuclear Laboratory, our silver sponsors, the Strategic Educational Alliances, and our bronze sponsors, Roe, Red Hat, Smith & Sinet Architecture, Crea Therapeutics, Bolton & Mink. And also, we want to recognize our NCSEF partners, the North Carolina State University, Meredith College, Strawbridge Studios Incorporated, and STEM Wizard. Please join me in, uh, again, giving congratulations and thank you for those sponsors. All right, now we're off to the fun part. Are you all ready? All right, now it's my pleasure to present our MC for the Junior Division Awards, Dr. Alonzo Alexander, who is of the Science House here at North Carolina State University. Alonzo? Hello. You've already had a, a million people uh, say, you know, good afternoon to you guys, so I won't do that again. But I will say, uh, welcome right here to NC State. We got a lot going on today, so I appreciate you navigating all the things happening on campus today. Go pack, right? Yeah, go pack. Go pack, yeah. Okay, good. Welcome again to this 36th North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair. And, and for those who are watching via the live stream, it's my pleasure to uh, extend a warm welcome to you as well. Uh, each and every one of you, whether you are here in person in this room, right? Woo! <laughs> or you are watching online, your presence here makes today a special day. Now, before we keep going, I want to take a moment and express some gratitude to your parents. All right, give your parents a round of applause. So it's their support and encouragement that for many of you has been the cornerstone of your journey. Thank you, parents. Now, mentors, teachers, You've also helped tirelessly guide and inspire these students. You've shaped their work, and we owe you a real moment of gratitude as well. So please give your teachers and your mentors a round of applause. And of course, on behalf of the North Carolina Science Fair Foundation, I'd like to express special appreciation to Judy Day, who is, that's right, She's been the long-serving volunteer director of the uh, North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair. And uh, boy, her leadership is greatly appreciated. And of course, the regional directors and all of the hundreds of judges and volunteers who work throughout the year to make this event happen. Thank you to all of them, and thank you to Judy for your 22 years of service, and uh, in particular, on your recognition at the opening program uh, earlier today. <laughs> We know that uh, the Judy Benton Day Award for Outstanding Service is going to uh, keep your legacy of service vibrant uh, in the coming years. Let me also thank Tom Williams, who has served with Judy this year as our co-director and has agreed to serve as the volunteer director effective July 1st. As many of us know, Tom has been active, right? And, and I, I wrote in my script, Tom, 
that might be an understatement. <laughs> active, wow. Is there something more than active? Maybe I can just put very in front of it. He has been very active uh, uh, with the North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair over the past 16 years. So we want to make sure we say thank you to Tom. Thank you. And then finally, uh, let me recognize North Carolina State University uh, for serving as the host site these past four years, and of course, for paying my bills. Thank you very much, NC State. <laughs> Let's get to the part that you have been very patiently waiting for in these chairs, right? Now students, you know, we'll recognize certain projects today, but by just having advanced to the state competition from your local and regional levels, you are all winners in the truest sense of the word. So give yourselves a round of applause for making it here today. And of course, if you're out there, uh, members of uh, families or, or friends or teachers and you want to shout out these students feel free to go to our social media pages and give the students a shout out to let them know how proud you are of them and uh, their accomplishments so take a second if you don't have it already uh, link up with us on social media okay let's get started with the special category awards first the NC1 Water Awards, and I'm going to read off. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Please don't forget, after you've come across the stage, you'll enter from this side, uh, and you've received your award, you will go right over here to take your photograph. Wave for him again. There we go. You'll go right there to take your picture. <laughs> Very good. We, may, we want to make sure that we're able to showcase you on the website. All right. We're going to do the NC One Water Awards, starting with third place, Lucy Ernest and Genevieve Goff. Second prize. Rajoshi, Roy Chowdhury, and Nitya Yadlapali. And first prize, Rachel Joseph and Shragvi Bolam. So our, for our next award, the Association, the Association of Women in Science North Carolina chapter, we're going to have uh, a guest come up and present the award to the students. Thank you very much. The winner of that award, Samaya Wag. And now the Creating a Better World Girl Scouts of North Carolina Coastal Pines Award. That goes to Samira Chaloma Lasetti. Now, for our next two awards, we're going to do these together. The United States Air Force Award and the Office of Naval Research and Naval Science Award. We're going to have uh, some guests come up and present those awards as well.
First, the United States Air Force Award. Xander Snell. And Matthew Hagler. And for our Office of Naval Research, Naval Science Award. Haley Silva and Hanley Pope. And now, our Limelson Award, Early Inventor Prize. That award goes to Kyle Haynes. And now for our SMT, Promising Young Researcher Award. The awards go to Peyton Williams, Jalen Torrance, and Lucy Ernest, and Genevieve Goff. Next up, we have the Broadcom Foundation Coding with Commitment Award. It goes to Sanvi Asaigali. Our RTI Turning Knowledge into Practice Award goes to Juliet Johnson. Our DOD STEM Leadership Prize. Jeremiah Johnson and Gray Dalton. <laughs> Don't worry, they won't take it without you. Next, we have the Association for Women Geosciences, Geoscientists Award for Excellence in Geosciences. Avika Dingra. Let's give all of our special award winners a round of applause. Now we have our category awards, starting with Biological Science A. Hey, can we, uh, can we pause for one quick second? I appreciate it. Yes. Sorry to delay. You're just having a photographer that I No problem.
So is this the time you start giving us the is that a little a little soft shoe up here? Yeah. I mean, I could, but but you would not want to see that. Uh, so I understand that um, judging was very exciting today. Was anybody nervous? If you were nervous, yeah. You were nervous? Yes. What 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 made you nervous? Stand up. What's your name? Yes. Everything. Everything. Are you nervous right now? <laughs> but it's over now. Now you should just be relaxing. Like, put your hands back. Enjoy your success. Oh. All right, the awards. Uh, that's right. All right. Is, is your family taking you to a celebratory dinner? What? Well, what would you like to eat? You don't? Okay. I, I see you're very decisive. That's all right. Uh, well, look, you, you sh this is the time. If you're going to negotiate for something, you want to do it now. You know, uh, Mom, I, I did pretty good today. You know, I really like Culver's, you know, a butter burger. I don't know what you like. Maybe you don't eat meat. I, I apologize if that's true. <laughs> All right. You have a few folks coming back, so that must mean things are going better. There you go. There it is. See, we all we all work we all work together here to do that. That's right. <laughs> Did you tell them that these photographs are going to be posted on the website one last time? Yes, that's right. Just remember that. Yeah, exactly right. We want to make sure we take good photos of these students because they will be posted on the website, so they will live forever. And so. Not forever, but for you to be able to download. Well, okay, not forever. I'm sorry. Uh, for, a, for a while? For, for a year. For a year. Okay. We have a very finite timeline. Do not wait for March 25th, 2025. That photo will not be there. All right. We're good. All right. Let's move into our category awards. We'll start with Biological Science A. We're going to do the entire category, so feel free to hold your applause till the end. First, honorable mention, Nahala Chandolo. Third place, Samira Chalamolasite Saiti. Second place, Bailey Heap. And first place, Rutwa Patil. On to Biological Science B. First, honorable mention. The team of Brooklyn Rust, Grace Edwards, and Annalee Rogers. Third place. Aaron Lee. Second place, Samaya Wag. And first place in biological science B, Sanvi Asaibali. Congratulations to, to all of our winners in biological science, both A and B. Give them a round of applause. Moving on to chemistry. Honorable mention. The team of Dev Patel, Che Young Lim, and Kaylin Hennessy. Third 
third place, Haley Silva. Second place, Lillian Redwine. <laughs> and first place, Laszlo Gazzano Stern. Let's, Let's give, give all, all of our chemistry, chemistry winners, winners a round of applause. applause. Now, now, mathematics, statistics, and data science. science. Honorable mention. Ishan Sundaram. Third place. Juliana Haffert. Second place, Garrett Chapman. <laughs> Shout out to Chloe over there, there, right? Yeah. <laughs> and first place, Andrew Nguyen. Thanks, Thanks for hustling, hustling Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Let's, Let's give, give all of our mathematics, statistics, statistics and data science, science winners a round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to physics. So, uh, for those who don't know, Physics is my area of research, so I, I have a special place in my heart for the physics winners. Um, they, they get the same prize as everyone else, but just know in my heart you are special. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So when, when you don't see a student, uh, most likely it is because they are a virtual participant. So hopefully uh, the folks watching in the live stream are congratulating those winners uh, in the live stream who weren't able to join us here in person today. So is that someone on the live stream giving you a call right now? All right. Moving on to physics, our honorable mention. Mia Mulan. Third place, Carter Hahn. Second place, Ram Kuchikula. And first place in the physics division, Matthew Hagler. Let's, Let's give, give all of our physics, physics winners, winners another round of applause. applause. All, all right. right, 
Moving, Moving on, on to, to the, the engineering, engineering division. division. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, engineering's okay too, I guess. <laughs> All right, honorable mention. Flynn Cornegy. Third place. Anvia Diga. Second place, Kyle Haynes. Kyle, you just happen to be have the same last name as the school? Yeah, oh, that's weird. All right, I like it. And first place. Layla Boskert. <laughs> you're, you're, you're holding up the, the show, Layla. Let's go. go. <laughs> you, you stop, stop that. that. All, all right. right. Layla's a student, student of mine, you guys. guys. Okay. okay. Let's, Let's give all of the engineering award winners, winners another, another round of applause. applause. Now, now for technology. technology. I'll mention. mention. Kaylee Robinson. Robinson. Third place, Lexi, Lexi Sponicky. Second place, Diana Zabatskaya. And first place in technology, Yash Mehta. Let's give all of our technology winners another round of applause. And to our final set of category awards, Earth and Environmental Science. Honorable mention. Debbie Monahan. Third place. Chase Tomala. Second place. Reba Care. And in first place, the team of Rachel Joseph and Shavi Bolam. Bring your shoes with you. Bring your shoes. Let's give our Earth, Earth and Environmental Science winners a round of applause and a round of applause for all of our Category Award winners. So, we've got the Grand Awards uh, coming up, but not just yet, because before we get to the Grand Awards, we're going to draw for the winners of the STEM Passport. 
All right. So thank you to our exhibitors for supporting this, uh, these prizes. Our first drawing is for two cash awards of $25 each. All right. First winner. It's a name I've already said today. Is that what you know? Flynn Courtney. Oh my gosh, gosh this, this is, is also a name I've already said today. Yash Mehta. Now, we are also giving away a scholarship to a North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics online summer accelerator course. This is our first of two. Oh, there's two. Oh, oh, my script only had one in it. Exciting. All right. This, this is, is a new name for me. me. Kaylin Leroy. And our second winner of the Summer Accelerator Course, Jackson Ward. Summer Accelerator Program, we'll send an email to uh, uh, your uh, families to set up the contact with North Carolina School of Science and Math. Congratulations again to our past four winners. All right. So now that we've had that little break, <laughs> let's get to the Grand Division Awards. The Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge. These awards go to the top 16 projects selected as the first and second place winners from each of the eight categories. These projects will be nominated to advance to the Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge to be held in October in Washington, D.C. Oh, I'm um, just yeah, reading what's the start. All right. Oh, no. Let me correct yeah. this a little bit. Be my guess. Okay. So, so you, you don't, don't automatically get Washington, D.C. <laughs> Let me clarify <laughs> this. <laughs> All right. So, so students that are receiving this nomination have to complete the package, package. and it's, it's a pretty thorough package, package that you have, have to work on. Um, and it is your responsibility to do this. You can keep touch with us and ask us questions. We can work happy to help you. But once you complete the package, and send it in. I think you get a t-shirt just for completing the package. They look at all the candidates that have completed the nomination package from all across the country and narrow it down to 300 semi-finalists. Then they look at those 300 semi-finalists and select 30 finalists. And those three finalists will go to Washington, D.C. with all expenses paid with a chaperone for one week you will have um, the tours around the back behind the scene tours of the Smithsonian. You do science and engineering challenges. You get to meet uh, Nobel laureates. You present your research projects, and you win all kinds of awards. North Carolina routinely has a couple of students that are in that top 300 from all across the country. And one year we had four of the 30 were from North Carolina that were the finalists. So spend some time working on that nomination package because that's what they will be reviewing to select the semi-finalists and finalists, okay? And make sure you get it in on time. If you have questions, contact us. We'll be happy to help you in any way we can, all right? But it is not an automatic ticket. I want to make sure I clarified that one. Okay, I'm going to pass it back over. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much, Judy. Judy. All, All right. right. <clears throat> so, so, now, now it's, it's time, time for the Grand Awards. Awards. Everybody, Everybody got, got quiet, quiet because, because, you know, these are the big, big ones. ones. 
right? My, my hand's, hand's a little shaky here at the keyboard. All right. Do we need to take a break? You guys need to do No? No? You want to know the winners? Uh, you don't sound like you want to know. It's fine. Are you sure you want to know the winners? Okay, good. All right. I'm going to announce all of them. When you hear your name, come on up here, okay? Do not wait. Come on up here if you hear your name. Rutwa Pato. Bailey Heap. Sanvi Asaigali. Samaya Waugh. Laszlo Gasano Stern. Lillian Redwine. Rachel Joseph and Sravi Bolam. Riva Kerr. Layla Boskert. Kyle Haynes. Andrew Nguyen. Garrett Chapman. <laughs> Matthew Hagler. Ram Kuchikula. Yash Mehta. And Diana Zavatskaya. Stay up to date with all the future events. Wow, that's a lot of winners, right? Can you give them another round of applause? That's amazing. And I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to spend uh, the afternoon with you. It is always a fun time for me. I, I wish I had more time to spend with you all. Uh, but together, as a group, I hope that students in particular, you'll use today as an opportunity to reflect on your achievements, acknowledge the challenges that you overcame to get here today, and anticipate the possibilities that lie ahead of you as you do more events just like this one. Good luck, students. Good luck. So, at this time, I'd like to invite the co-director, Dr. Tom Williams, to come forward and make the final closing remarks. Tom? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Alexander. And once again, congratulations to each and every one of the students who advanced to the state competitions here. Keep up the great work. Keep moving forward. Uh, we need you more than ever to continue to grow and improve and learn and give back to your community as you already have been doing. I want to thank a, a shout out to Jeff Hatley and NCSSM for doing our live stream. I want to thank NC State University for once again hosting us today. And let's give all of our stage guests here today who are handling the awards a well-deserved round of applause. Students, final reminder, if you've not already picked up your poster board uh, at Kate's in the Carmichael Gymnasium, please make sure you um, pick it up before 5 o'clock. And we wish each of you a safe journey back home today. And we'll look forward to seeing you in your local, your regional, and at the State Science Fair next year. Thank you all very much.